beneficial nematodes. We just bought this at the hydroponic store. Um, they should be refrigerated uh, at the store if you see them. If they're not, don't buy them. A um, couple things that I should note also is um, they're highly used. So uh, a lot of times uh, when a store gets a batch in, um, they get bought very, very quickly. Um, these are what's called a beneficial nematode. You have nematodes in your in your soil now, um, so probably a combination of beneficial and um, and bad nematodes um, in your soil. Um, these are used. Uh, they're kind of a microscopic organism that is used to destroy uh, soil dwelling and wood boring insects. Um, you actually put these in water and I'll, we'll show you a little bit later um, how you kind of rehydrate these guys and then spray them on your your soil and um, topical um, is how we're going to use it um, you do want to water your garden um, prior so everything's wet um, they don't like drought uh, you can do a google search and find a bunch of this information on there if they um, they they don't want drought but they also don't want above 95 degrees um, uh, in the soil temperature. So something to be aware of depending on where you are. Um, New England it's uh, recommended usually to do spring, um, summer, and fall. Uh, we probably won't do that much application. Um, but I thought I'd show you and talk to a few of the, the items here. Beneficial nematodes actually target the larva stage of a lot of the pests in the garden. Um, so when moths lay eggs, um, these will actually target the larva within the soil. So cutworms or I believe even um, tomato hornworms, which is something that I definitely want to, to help with. Some of the information I found includes that nematodes are uh, considered a roundworm that lives in both soil and water. They are some of the most abundant um, multi-cell organisms on the planet. They feed on a lot of the bad pests that you have. Um, caterpillars, um, cutworms, uh, grubs that you'd have within your soil. They feed on fungi, bacteria, and uh, as well. The bad nematodes actually do attack your plants. Um, they can either grow up within and eat their way out um, of your plant, or they can burrow in into the core of your plant, which is something you definitely don't want. They should be applied in the morning or evening um, after direct sun, and make sure that you water your garden first before you're going to apply. I found that most of the sites that I've looked at and searched on Google that they like temperatures, soil temperatures between 42 degrees and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. I read on a couple sites not to use fertilizer um, for a week or two after you apply this um, or right before. So high nitrogen is not very good for them. Nematodes are very sensitive to drought so again you want to want to water before before you do your application of them into the garden and then you want to make sure that the soil stays moist probably watering uh, mornings and evenings. I always suggest to do your own research uh, and make sure that this is the right thing for you. This box comes with a cloth bag. Um, then in the box, just so you can see what it looks like, It's just this container. One thing I want to mention is that this little container here is said to hold approximately 7 million beneficial nematodes and will cover about 2,000 square feet of your garden. All right, this is what it looks like when you open the package. I've got a bucket full of water Now, I'm gonna dump this in and wait an hour. 
After about an hour, I mixed in the vermiculite and stirred. Now I'm going to start spreading it along the beds. <laughs> 